is in class 101 guys we have some announcement but first let's do the roll call Carly Wells Ren is that Dia mom? Die. Di Di mm -hmm. um, I'm just going to say first name. Bay da Diane, LG, Noel, uh, Shakia, Tata, Yolanda, Elaine, Roberta, Karma, Carmen, Phyllis, Original Thoughts, Della, Chosen Life, Tiffany, Rachel, Robin, Melissa, uh, Euro Cooking, Brenda, and Angela. All right, guys, if you guys are here, raise your hand. You know what to do. Raise your hand and say, I'm here. All right, guys, so I don't know what's going on with my uh, students, but I have announced that we have a homework project. And Miss Smarty Pants will tell you. So she's doing a giveaway for you, specifically for you, which is this Instapot right here. Never been open. She don't need an Instapot because she got a rice cooker, a, 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 a brand new Breville with the air fryer in there, and the kitchen's been remodeled, a bread maker. This is for you, okay? So the rules are, you must be subscribed to her channel. You must be following her on Instagram, which is linked and pinned in the comments. You must make one of her dishes that she has presented on her channel. It can be any dish. You can even put your own spin on it. You need to take a picture of that. You need to go to Instagram, your Instagram page, post it on there, and tag her in the picture if you want to be entered to get the Instapot. You have specifically to the end of the month after Halloween that's it so we waiting that's it <laughs> we're waiting and also uh, you guys I need you to share me you're not sharing me I can see how many people share and it's one person that shares a lot and her name is Alyssa Barnes she shares me a lot so guys share me that's all I need uh, uh, Bree uh, shares you too. Oh, chosen Life. Yeah, Chosen Life. Bree. That's my girl. She shares me. So, how come I'm not being shared? You guys are not helping me, my, my numbers to grow. This, this ain't best cook secrets. <laughs> <laughs> Does this look like top secret recipes? No, no. These are <laughs> mine recipes. Does, mine. does this look like Lando Lakes? <laughs> no, I don't like the recipes. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, guys, so this is it. So I am going to do a rendition uh, of the ch Chipotle bowl yeah. or a Qdoba bowl because they're basically the same. They are, but Qdoba puts like queso on theirs, and I don't think Chipotle uh, puts queso on theirs, just cheese. Really? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to do my rendition of the Chipotle bowl. Uh, it calls for guacamole, but guys, I put my avocados in the refrigerator so they didn't get soft. So we're just going to slice avocado. We're going to make it do what it's going to do, all right? So let me get okay, set guys, up in my bag. So I have one can of chipotle peppers in adobo sauce. And this is a 12 ounce. That's what this is right here. And I kind of smushed it up. And I taste this. Boy, this is pretty hot. So if you don't like really spicy foods, I would say pe probably use about two of the peppers, okay? And I'm using uh, extra virgin. They weren't crushed, they were whole in there? Yes, they were whole. Oh. Yeah. And I'm using about a <laughs> tablespoon of oil, okay? And then I'm going to use... Oil what? Extra virgin olive oil. I don't think you said it. I don't know. I'm just here to help. Thank you, Ike. You're welcome. <laughs> and I'm going to use these many garlic. My white spoon is something you don't like. I do. That white spoon is infamous. Sure is. All right. I'm going to shut up for the rest of the video. No, you don't. No, you don't. All right. So, this is my ingredients. I've used a whole can of black beans. I've used corn. When you get these, as I said in my earlier, early videos, rinse these off. Do not use the juice and stuff in there. Do not. At least I don't. So you're just going to mix this up. Okay. 
And you can put in whatever type of spices you want. You just make sure you put uh, whatever you like. But I am going to use my taco seasoning. I am going to use this. And I'm going to use maybe about this much. Let's say about a couple of tablespoons and a teaspoon. So I'm going to mix it up. Now you're really supposed to let this marinate overnight. New because I didn't do that. It's a very late, late video. It would be better if it was done overnight. Are you gonna tell them the truth, Mama? What? Why you marinated overnight? Because I didn't feel like it. You just being lazy. I was being lazy. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody seemed to be hungry. Want a Qdoba bowl or Chipotle bowl? Okay. Which you don't even really particularly care for. No. <laughs> no. Now, I had Miss Smarty Pants to debone the chicken thighs, okay? I like to keep fat on here because that gives it flavor. And here's one we didn't do. So, you could just take it if you want with your fingers. Where did you put my chicken skins? I had a bag. They over there. That was marinating just for you. <laughs> really? And I marinated it myself so you wouldn't even have to do nothing. Okay, thank you. <laughs> See, so that's all you have to do is just take your fingers and then go through here and take off the skin. Which Miss Smart Pants has a problem with that. Yeah, because you try to put all my chicken skins in the freezer and that just don't sit right with me. Oh, well. Okay. Now, if it's too much fat on here, you can take it off, okay? Me and Diamond can feast on those. Right, Diamond? <laughs> <laughs> so, this is how you take it off, okay? Now, if you don't want all that fat on there, by all means, trim it off. Trim it off, okay? That gives it flavor. Okay, okay so here's my mixture here. And I'm just going to pour it all over here. And how many thighs came in that pack? I do not know. Well, we, I, can't you just count them? They all sit in there. Well, we got a, uh, it's a family pack. It's a family pack. So you told me you get a family pack. Yeah. So all you don't use, you definitely can freeze it, put it in a Ziploc bag, marinate it. Yes, I'm using my hands. My hands are my best tools. You don't want to put on gloves? No. Why? Why? Because I like to feel my meat. <laughs> <laughs> I can take that sentence in so many ways. Yeah, but okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, let Get a show of hands how many people love to fill they meat in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like to feel mine, so I'm sorry. I like to feel the texture. I like to, yeah, just do it. So, I'm not going to cook all these, so some of these I will let marinate. Like I said, if you get a family pack and you do what I just did, put it in a Ziploc bag, take the air out. Put the uh, mixture in there, and you're good to go. Put it in the freezer, and then when you want to thaw it out, put a paper towel in the freezer, I mean in the refrigerator, on the shelf. It smells hot. I can smell it all the way yeah. over here. <laughs> These little things are hot. Well, it, it should open up your arteries. For real. Get the blood flowing. I know mine need to be flowing. Warm you up for the winter. I know. Okay. So, that's what you do. You just let it marinate. That's all you do. Alright. So, let me get my pan hot enough. And I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So, I got my, my pan hot here. It has to grill things on there. And I got my setting on 8. Okay, I could put it on high. But my thigh is a little bit... Thick. So, 
You just want to take it. And I have a little oil in the pan, just a little. Wash your hands. And you just want them to cook maybe about eight minutes on each side until it's done. You don't want to have cookies. Now I'm only going to do these two for you guys because I got a lot more. But the rest, I like I said, I'm going to freeze them so whenever we want another chipotle bowl, we can do it. And I'm getting ready to cough because <laughs> the pepper is brutal. Pepper is something else. Oh my God. <laughs> I have to cover my nose. <laughs> So, and nah, ain't nobody sick over here. You start grilling up some peppers and let's see how much you can breathe. I know. I'm just gonna see how it looks on this side. <coughs> All right, I'll be back, you guys. So here is my chicken thigh that I had to let cook for a while in the chipotle. It's not burnt, it's the peppers. That's on here. So what I did was taking a chicken skin and fry this up. Okay, so I need a little oil. And see how much oil that the chicken makes? The skin makes with it. Chicken skin. Okay. And this is not quite done. So you continue want to let that cook. I'm going to try to let this crisp up. But it probably won't because it's not in deep fat. Love. Uh, make sure you speak up. Oh, you can't hear me? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got a mask on because... <laughs> yep. That chipotle, boy, it is pretty strong. So like I said, only use maybe two or one. And on the, uh, <clears throat> the uh, cilantro lime rice, what I did was wash my rice very well. After I washed it, I put it in my rice cooker. I used two cups of rice with about five cups of water. I add salt to it, stir it up to season it up. Once I put it in the rice cooker and put it on white rice and let it time out, it takes about maybe 20 minutes to do it. And once it's done, I had opened it up, chopped up my cilantro, put about half a cup of cilantro in there, along with uh, some uh, squeeze about a, a, a whole line inside of it and mix it up. And that's all you have to do. You can add a little more salt if you want to. But remember, you salted your water. Okay? So we'll let this try to crisp up. Right here. And I need to turn this down some. Okay. Now you can put this on the grill outside. Which might be a safer alternative. Yeah. <laughs> Let this crisp up. But if you had sinuses. That was stuffy, and you breathe that in, you shouldn't have sinuses no more. Mm, for real. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's what you're going to do. Like I said, all my students that attend class, make sure you raise your hand and say, I'm here. And please, do your homework. Do your project, guys. 
I am trying to give away an instant pot and a certificate stating that you complete the course. Okay? And I want you guys to help me get my numbers up. I don't know why my numbers the way it is. I, I don't get it. I don't understand it. But maybe I'm not your favorite uh, chef. That's okay. You got a lot of good chefs out here. Maybe I'm just too different and too raw for you guys. Because I don't put on a show for nobody. What you see is what you get, what you hear is what you hear. And that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> okay. I think that is done. All right. And like I said, it's not burnt. It's those peppers that's on here. So I'm going to turn that off. Put that on there. <coughs> and try to soak up some of this uh, chicken oil. I'll be right back. Okay, so in this plate I have one red bell pepper, one green bell pepper, and onions. Okay? So I'm just going to saute these up. Trying to separate it. Trying to be fancy. Could you put those in the oven or broil? For the chicken? Yeah. Of course you can. Of course you can. Just go in and uh, check them and turn them over. Yes, you can put them in the oven. I did put a little olive oil in here. You just want to saute these a little bit. So I'm going to do two versions. I'm going to do the bowl and the other one I'll show you. Well, you do know if you want like onions and bell peppers at Chipotle, that's a special request. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh. Well, this is my request. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making it so this is my request. And it has a little bit of seasoning, Chipotle seasoning in here. So I don't know if this would be called like a keto. I'm not sure. I don't mm -hmm. think it would. Mm -hmm. But I don't understand a keto. If you add the rice to it, it's, it, not, it's not keto at all. Basically keto is uh, the new age Atkins diet. Is it? No carbs. <laughs> no carbs, high fat, and protein. So. Would that be too much fat? I don't know. You see how long I stay on it. He <laughs> <laughs> said he had a headache on her. Oh my god, the first day I'd be like, oh my god, I hate this. I'm hungry. <laughs> I just say eat in moderation. I'm trying to get down to 110 pounds. You ain't never been there. I I'm going to be. That's it. A hundred and ten pounds. So I can look really skinny and sickly. <laughs> yeah. So as my uh, son-in-law would say, you need to go eat a hamburger? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, I want people to tell me to go eat a hamburger, Matt. Here's a salad. <laughs> <laughs> Rabbit food.
Okay, you just want them to get just a little soft. And I like mine a little soft. And I think chipotle, it's not chipotle, cute over, just cut them up and just put them in there. They do. They do, they, yeah. they, they taste raw. They grill them a little bit, but it's not as long as you, what you're cooking them at. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that means all your vitamins and nutrients is in there, and they're not all sauteed out. Yeah, and I end up having to get some beanos. <laughs> And I made some uh, pico de gallo. Uh, I'll have Miss Martin pass to put that link in there, or I can do it. But at any rate, supposed to have guacamole. Like I said, I put my um, avocados in the refrigerator, and they did not become soft. So we're just gonna have sliced avocado in to pretend that it's guacamole. Well, I made guacamole on your channel before, remember? Yeah. You have guacamole. Right. You can put that in there, too. I'll put it in there. We'll all put it in there. Yeah, we all gonna put it in there. <laughs> I think, we all think, it's gonna be absolutely delicious. Like I said, this is my rendition of it. You know, I'm, I'm the extra cook. I do things differently from everybody else, as I told you before. My style of cooking is totally different. So you just want a little char on your onions, which I love. And I will come back with the finished product, but I do, like I said, I have the corn, the black beans, the sour cream, the avocado, lettuce, and I will plate it up, or bowl it up. All right, guys, so here is my rendition of the chipotle bowl. I already assembled it. I already told you how I made the uh, cilantro lime rice. I just put the rice at the bottom and then layered the uh, meat on top and then the cheese and the pico de gallo and sour cream and of course like i said it's supposed to be guacamole but i told you guys about my avocados and chopped up some lettuce and some cheese and squeezed some lime on it okay the other one i just basically made a burrito out of the same thing with a flour tortilla so only thing you need to do is warm up your tortilla so it'd be pliable or workable and just do the same thing that I did in the bowl. You just do it in a burrito and wrap it up and roll it up and put it in foil. That is not the right type of foil that you use. This is heavy duty foil. You're supposed to use the lightweight foil. They do come in sheets individually. So that's what I did. That is my rendition of the Chipotle bowl and the Chipotle burrito. So it's very flavorful. The meat was really, really super good. I thought that the chipotle um, peppers was spicy anyway but I really thought it was going to be more spicy on the chicken and it wasn't I was really surprised with that but but then again I did not let it marinate so the other ones I do have marinated we're going to cook it for uh, tomorrow for uh, our Sunday dinner so yeah here it goes this is it. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know that I am on. And make sure you're in class. Raise your hand and say I'm here. Make sure you do your homework. The little mini project where I am giving away an Instapot you saw at the beginning of the video. And uh, Miss Mary Pants had told you the rules and stuff. You must be subscribed when you want. Just don't subscribe and then if you win, then afterwards, you know, you unsubscribe. That's rude to me. But anyway, guys, here it is. So as I'm going to say, and as I'm always going to say, stay loving, be loving, as I always love you, and bless the love, and I'll see you guys next Saturday.